rain, insults, and a tiny bit of good luck. That's what's in store this week with Big C. So we finally made it into November, which is the heat of the holiday season. We're finally here. Some people absolutely hate the holiday season. Some people love it. I am a huge fan, mostly because I just enjoy it. It's more festive. It's fun. There's things to look forward to typically around the holidays. So I love it when we get to this part of the year. And the best part, at least for Florida, the weather actually gets decent. Uh, Yesterday, it was in the 50s a good chunk of the day. Today, it's supposed to go back up to the 70s, but that's still comfortable, so I'll gladly take what I can get. Anyway, this was a pretty eventful week. Uh, we had a lot going on. So here's the recap, and uh, you can see what I mean. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday. Today was an interesting day. So started off very bad. On my way to work, I was I, I was getting ready to go to work. I uh, got to the bus stop, and of course, the first bus just zoomed right past me, even though I was at the bus stop. And so that was frustrating. Caught the next one, which was running late. Barely got to the transportation ticket center on time, but I made it on time. Then I got on the cast bus, which takes me to work. And that one was late because of traffic due to construction on the roads at Disney. Didn't get to Animal Kingdom until about seven minutes before I was supposed to start work. Uh, and of course, yes, or pretty much all day today till the evening, uh, I basically could not bend my left knee. My left knee was incredibly stiff. And if I tried to bend it past a certain point, it was very painful. So I couldn't walk fast. And because of that, I was late for work by three minutes, which is unfortunate. Thankfully, I did talk to my management team and they they understood and they fixed it, so that's good. My knee got better. And oddly enough, my luck turned around quite a bit towards the end of the day. Uh, I got lucky at a Walmart, uh, which you'll see in a future episode of Bargain Game Hunter. Uh, I also got lucky playing Mario Party, which is another thing you're going to be seeing on the Big CTV Plays channel. I uh, just did an entire play session of Mario Party Superstars with Matt and Corey. So you're going to be able to see that broken up into episodes uh, fairly soon. So if you want to see us play Mario Party and all the uh, wackiness that ensues, be sure to check out Big CTV Plays. Uh, it's good stuff. So yeah, at least the day turned around. It started very badly, but at least it got better towards the end. So I'll take what I can get. Uh, anyway, I got to get to bed because I work tomorrow morning. Uh, thankfully, tomorrow is a short day, so hopefully I can get through it quickly and uh, have a good afternoon off. So at least some positive stuff is going on. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday. And I have to say, yesterday started off really terrible, but pretty much since then, I've had a good time. Uh, the last few days have actually been, like last night and today, have been really good for the most part. So I talked a little bit about the stuff that happened last night. I played Mario Party. Uh, I went to Walmart to look for some clearance deals and came across a lot, so that was really nice uh, that I got for super cheap. I also finally found out I get to go to my service celebration that I was supposed to go to uh, last year. They finally announced a makeup date in 2022, so I'm going to get to go in January, which is great. For those who don't know, um, those who celebrate their 10-year anniversary and then every five years after that, I get to go to a big party in Magic Kingdom. The entire park is bought out for us. We get free food. We get to enjoy all the attractions. Uh, and it's there just for those who have hit those big milestones. My 10th anniversary was in 2020. So they canceled the event last year and this year, in fact. <clears throat> but I finally get to go next year to that. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I found out the Del Taco 
that they've been building on 192 is opening December 1st, which that's awesome. I'm super excited for that. And that opens right before my birthday, which is even better. Uh, today at work wasn't bad. I left in a pretty good mood. I'm not in like a ton of pain. It's just been a lot, a, a little boost of positivity, which is nice. So hopefully the rest of the week will turn out that way. But right now things are actually looking pretty good. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, hopefully, like I said, things will continue in that trajectory, but it's nice to finally get a little bit of positivity every once in a while, because man, things have been bad over the past few months, but it's nice to see things are finally working their way back. Hey everybody, it is Thursday. Uh, I wanted to kind of spin a yarn of something that just happened on the bus that uh, was oh so lovely. So I was on my way home for work. I actually stopped because I wanted to go to McDonald's uh, to get some dinner on my way home. But while I was on my way, of course, the bus got very full. I was sitting in my seat uh, watching a movie on my phone, had my AirPods in, and was resting my arm on this little plastic piece. Not on the other seat, so this little plastic piece uh, right next to my seat. This woman comes on the bus and she's carrying a bag. And apparently she talked to me and was asking like, hey, can I put my bag on this piece? And I didn't hear her because I had my AirPods in and I was watching a movie. So she puts, she without getting a response or saying anything otherwise, like without doing much, she just puts her bag on there, uh, starts yelling at me, calling me an asshole, saying, oh, you don't have to be an asshole about this whole situation. I'm like, I, I did hear you like I was watching a movie I was resting my arm on a piece of plastic how is that being an asshole so I moved my arm after I, she explains the situation I'm like I'm not being an asshole um, so I moved my arm she puts her stuff on the plastic piece and then as I'm leaving I wish her you know I tell her you know just to be you know somewhat hospitable you know have a good day and she responds with oh Bye, asshole. So she calls me an asshole again. I'm like, look, lady, I don't know what I did to you. I did nothing to you, first of all. Second of all, why are you being such an asshole to me when I just didn't hear you when you asked me a question? I, I don't know. It makes me mad. Uh, so, and of course, it just adds to the fact that today was not like a great day at work. It was fine. I survived, but wasn't amazing. So to go on my way home and then have to deal with a terrible person who calls me an asshole for doing absolutely nothing uh, is just a lovely way to end my day. I picked up a shift tomorrow because I had to leave early on Sunday. So I have one more day of work and then uh, I'm gonna be off on Saturday and Sunday this week, which is nice. So just gotta get through one more day and then things will get better, but yeah. Just wanted to share that oh so lovely story of just the, the nicest people that you meet on the bus. Yeah. This has been today. So nice. Hey everybody, it is Friday. Uh, I got off work a little bit ago and I'm waiting for the bus to show up. Uh, I'm waiting under cover because it's raining in fact, it has literally been raining all day. Uh, even from when I got up at like 5.20 in the morning, it's been raining. It hasn't really stopped. Uh, this is the hardest I've seen it pretty much all day, which is perfect timing because, you know, there's no cover going to the bus, so I'm gonna get drenched when it does show up. But yeah, um, work was work, was it pleasant? And I'm just ready to uh, go home and not be in the rain. But I do have a couple stops I have to make on the way, so I'm gonna get drenched probably regardless. So yeah, I'm just I'm just happy my weekend is here, and I won't have to go to work again until Monday. So take what I can get. So I got off the bus because I wanted to make a stop real quick, and as you can see, the rain has gotten significantly worse. Uh, I am drenched to the bone, as I will show you in a second. And of course, I don't have an umbrella because I lost it about a month ago. And then I also don't have uh, any kind of rain gear, so I'm just soaked. This sucks. 
and it just makes an already bad day that much worse. So as you can see, I am pretty much completely soaked to the bone, which is oh so lovely. I'm hoping the bus will show up soon. Uh, there's literally no shade. I'm standing underneath this tree, but it really does not do much in terms of protecting me from the elements. So I'm just getting drenched. I'm gonna get drenched until this bus shows up. So hopefully it'll show up soon. I can get out of the rain and uh, get into some dry clothes because man, I could use it. Now we're gonna get to a preview of an upcoming video that you will see later this week. Well, Halloween is over, but this is the final episode of Halloween Spectacular, so not quite over as of our opinion. And I'm sure while you were raiding the half price Halloween candy aisles at your local stores, you would come across the rejects, the stuff that people weren't necessarily interested in picking up for cheap even for super cheap. Well, I came across one such item, which is of course everybody's favorite Halloween candy, candy corn, but this one's interesting. I don't know how I feel about it, and I'm gonna find out. We have Minions candy corn. It's different flavors from regular candy corn. I'm gonna try it. Now, before we wrap up today's video, I did want to mention that there will be an announcement video coming actually a couple announcement videos coming for both Holly Jolly Holiday 2021 and the Yuri. So Holly Jolly Holiday is our Christmas event that we do every year. I actually already filmed the first video for it. I just have to make an intro and actually announce the thing before I release it, but I have filmed the first Holly Jolly Holiday video. So hopefully that will come out soon. And then the Yuri's is our end of the year award show. Now, if you didn't watch last year's, please do. It's honestly one of my best videos that I've ever made. We had guest presenters. We had all kinds of fun stuff. And of course, I share my picks for best album, video game, movie, etc., etc., of the year. It was a really fun video to make. It does take a lot of time, but I'd like to start getting submissions for it now so if you would like to a like to be a presenter or b want to give a shout out or your take on like your favorite big ctv moment of 2021 let me know in the comments below and i'll reach out to you or if you want to follow me on social media big ctv show on both twitter and instagram if you want to send me a dm on either of those and would like to be a part of the yearies for this year please let me know obviously I love my community and I want to make sure as many of you as possible can be a part of our end of the year reward show if you would like to be. So if you're interested, send me a, a DM on Twitter or Instagram or leave a comment down below and how I can contact you on either Instagram or Twitter most likely and uh, we can go from there. That's going to do it for this episode of This Week with Big C. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. New videos on this channel air three days a week, so hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you next week on This Week with Big C. Bye-bye. <laughs>